We're also hearing from a small business owner in Jacksonville who's doing all he can to keep both his employees and his patients safe. Jack's Care provides transportation for non-emergency medical patients. While COVID-19 is a threat to business, the owner tells news for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker he's been able to find balance. Jack's Care transports hundreds of patients a day, taking them to hospitals and nursing homes. They need to get to their appointments. And that's what we're about. Jack's Care co-owner Ken Elias says COVID-19 has increased their mindset. He says they haven't come across any cases, but I'm told they're watching closely. Jack's Care stays in contact with hospitals and nursing homes for updates on how to handle patient care. The one change is, is that employees, or I'm sorry, patients where we would normally go into a facility and help a person from their bed into a wheelchair or on a stretcher and transport them out, they're now meeting us at the door. He's also making sure they're secure on the inside. Our stretchers, uh, they're always on our stretchers, so that stretcher gets wiped down after each transport. Yeah. And then how often are we wiping down inside these vehicles? Several times a day, yes. Typically, with the new protocol that we're doing, we're trying to establish and enforce that we're doing it after every run, so we're heightening that up. On the South Bank, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Jack's Care doesn't Jake just take patients to nursing homes and hospitals. We're told their other drop-off locations have been limited for safety concerns.